On Monday, December 27th, Lifetime Fitness lifeguard Kaylee Wilson was in the lifeguard stand monitoring the swimmers in the lap pool. At about 3.10 p.m., Kaylee noticed a swimmer swimming in the shallow end of the pool uh, to the deep end and in distress. Kaylee noticed that the, sorry, Kaylee noticed that the swimmer was swimming erratically and swam into the lap lane and then briefly went underwater before resurfacing. The swimmer was able to swim to the side of the pool and hang on to the wall for support. Kaylee exited the stand and went to the swimmer to check it to see if he was okay. The swimmer told Kaylee that he felt like he was drowning. At this moment, the patient lost consciousness while still in the water. Kaylee immediately recognized the swimmer was unresponsive and was now a patient. Kaylee was able to grab the patient's arm before he became submerged and called other lifeguards for assistance. Lifeguard fitness aquatic manager Megan Davis arrived first to assist Kaylee while lifeguards Olivia Falbush and Amelia Grant brought the backboard. Working together, the team were able to remove the patient from the pool and began to provide a primary assessment whereupon it was determined that the patient was not breathing and did not have a pulse. The team initiated a call to 911 and immediately started chest compressions and administered ventilations with a bag valve mask. The crew also worked to, uh, together to apply AED pads. The patient was shocked three times prior to the arrival of EMS using an AED. The crew worked together to continue chest compressions and provide ventilations until the arrival of the fire department. MCFRS crews arrived on the scene and assumed patient care from the Lifetime Fitness staff, found the patient to be in ventricular tachycardia. The crews worked together to assume chest compressions and can conduct high performance CPR, secure an airway using an oropharyngeal airway and continuing to assist ventilations uh, via bag valve mask, establish vascular access with an IO, administer epinephrine, amiodarone, and magnesium. During the cardiac arrest, the patient was defibrillated three more times prior to converting to a PEA rhythm. At this point, the patient was moved to the EMS unit for transport to the hospital. En route to the emergency room, chest compressions were continued via Lucas device and medical consultation was performed with Shady Grove Adventist Hospital. While the crew was performing a medical consultation, the patient began to open his eyes and look around and move his hands. The crew removed the oropharyngeal airway and the patient tried to talk. By the time the patient arrived at the emergency room, he was awake and conversing with the EMS crew. The crew arrived at Shady Grove and care was transferred to the emergency room staff. The patient was found to be hypokalemic, which caused his cardiac arrest. The patient was stabilized prior to being transferred to the Washington Hospital Center to have a, a cardio, uh, cardioverted defibrillator implanted. The patient was ultimately discharged home neurologically intact on January 5th. The patient has since returned to swimming laps on a regular basis. Again, the chain of survival is an integral part to a positive patient outcome. The first step in the chain is recognition of the emergency. The lifeguard crew was immediately able to recognize the patient in distress and acted without delay. Kaylee recognizing the patient was in distress and preventing him from going underwater, but when he became unresponsive, had a huge impact on the positive outcome. The lifeguard team working together to ensure early high quality CPR and early defibrillation, as well as the teamwork knowledge skills of MCFRS, significantly improved the patient's chances of survival and led to full recovery. Uh, the patient, uh, Mr. Azriel Levy, has, has a message for responders. I believe we're going to look at a video. Hi, I'm Ozzy Levy. I'm standing in front of the old city of Jerusalem. My family had lived here for several generations. I'm grateful to be able to reunite with my family. On December 27th of last year, I went swimming at the Lifetime Fitness Swimming Pool. I lost consciousness, and the next thing that I remember is waking up in an ambulance just as it had reached Shady Grove Adventist Hospital. It turned out that I had suffered a cardiac arrest. I found out later that Callie, the lifeguard, noticed that I'm in distress. She reached over, held on to me, until Megan Davis jumped into the water and together with the help of the other lifeguards, they pulled me out and Megan immediately started CPR. She continued with the CPR until the ambulance team from the Montgomery County Rescue and Fire Services came over, took over, continued with resuscitation until they reached the hospital where I had miraculously woke up. I'm here today with the grace of God and due to the dedication of Megan, her team, and the dedication and effort of the Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Services. 
as the Jewish sa sages have said over 2,000 years ago, he who saves one life, it is as if he had saved a whole world. Thank you very much.